Chemcast. Hello. In this edition of Chemcast, we will be looking at limiting reactant stoichiometry. Get your periodic table and a calculator handy, and then we'll get ready to go. Here's our problem for today. What mass of precipitate can be formed from 75 grams of silver nitrate and 75 grams of calcium chloride? Well first, if you don't have it given to you, you will need to write a balanced equation for it. Here's the balanced equation for this reaction. Two silver nitrates plus calcium chloride, CaCl2, yields two silver chlorides and Ca, parentheses NO3, close the parentheses N2 for calcium nitrate. Once we do that, now we'd have to figure out what we're doing, what we're figuring out here. Now in this case, we've got information about both the reactants. We've got 75 grams of silver nitrate, that's this one here, and we're going to convert, do a stoichiometry problem to convert to product of AgCl. That's our precipitate, it's not soluble. If at any point you need a little extra time, go ahead and pause this and then we'll continue on. In this problem we also have 75 grams of calcium chloride. We are going to convert from calcium chloride to the same product, the AgCl. So we convert from mass to moles, mole ratio to moles of AgCl and then back to mass of AgCl. That's stoichiometry as well. So we're going to do this stoichiometry twice, two times. First time with the AgNO3 going to AgCl. The second time from CaCl2 to AgCl. Here's what those equations look like all written out. Go ahead and calculate everything out there and we will see that for the first one we get 63 grams of AgCl produced. Using the second one, the calcium chloride, then we get 194 grams of AgCl produced. When we look at this, both of those numbers can't be correct. So what do we use? Well, when we're doing a limiting reactant problem, we're going to use the lower, the smaller amount of product. And in that case, it's 63 grams of AgCl. That is our product produced from this reaction. Why can't we produce 194 grams? Once we make 63 grams of AgCl, all of our AgNO3 is gone. It's used up. So that is our limiting reactant. It runs out. We produce only 63 grams of AgCl. Thanks for joining us for this edition of Whitman Chemtech. Thank you.